Chromebooks have been here for a while now, but if you're not from the US, chances are you don't know a lot about them. For instance, someone recently asked me if a Chromebook is a Windows laptop from Google. Yeah, right. So yes, people are fairly unaware when it comes to Chromebooks. Well, like always, we have you covered. What's up guys, this is Rupesh from bbomb.com and today let's talk about what Chromebooks are and if they are worthy of replacing your Windows or Mac laptop. Sounds interesting? Let's get started. First, let's talk about what Chromebooks are. A Chromebook is definitely not a Windows or Linux running laptop. Instead, it runs Google's Chrome OS, which is a Linux based operating system. Chrome OS is basically a blown up version of Google's Chrome browser with focus on the web and the cloud. There are a number of great Chromebooks available today. You can find traditional laptops, convertible 2-in-1s with a touch display, notebooks, etc. You can buy Chromebooks from Google itself or you can check out various retailers like Amazon. Now that you are slightly acquainted with Chromebooks, let's talk about why you should get a Chromebook. Well, there are several benefits of getting a Chromebook. If you are considering a Chromebook, it all boils down to how Chrome OS fares against Windows and Mac OS. Honestly, if you think Chrome OS competes against Windows and Mac, allow me to burst your bubble. Because it does not. It is very very different and that can be a good thing or bad, depending on what you want. Let's get into the details of Chrome OS, so you have a better idea of what I'm talking about. While Chrome OS might just be the Chrome browser running on steroids, it has some decent features. It packs in a start menu like button on the bottom left, which opens up the Google search page along with your recently used apps. Here you can scroll down below to find various Google Now cards like weather, stock, news etc. Chrome OS features a system tray which houses options for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, sound, shutdown etc. There's also a notification panel which shows you notifications from Chrome as well as Android apps. It also includes some basic desktop apps like files which lets you browse files from your local storage as well as Google Drive. It lets you add third-party services like Dropbox, OneDrive, etc. There's also a built-in photo viewer which offers basic editing options like crop, enhance, etc. Other than that, it's all about the Chrome browser and various Chrome apps from the Chrome Web Store. While some Chrome apps open in their own window, some are just web versions of a service. Plus, Google offers free 100 GB of cloud storage on Google Drive which is certainly great considering Chromebooks don't come with massive local storage. All the data and settings on your Chromebook is also synced with your account. So when you log into a new Chromebook, you will find everything even on the new device. The biggest benefit of getting a Chromebook right now is Android app support. The Play Store features more than 2 million apps and Chromebooks running them natively is a big deal. Sure, only a few Chromebooks support Android apps right now, but they enhance the functionality of Chrome OS by leaps and bounds. If you've always wanted a laptop running Android, a Chromebook with Android apps certainly fits the bill. If your Chromebook does support Android apps, you'll like Chrome OS even more. You can use the apps from the Play Store in either landscape or portrait mode. While you can move app windows around, you cannot resize them, and you can only maximize them to the full screen. You can use these apps via your usual keyboard and touchpad or use the touchscreen if your Chromebook does pack one, obviously. It's not all good though, as some apps don't really work as well as you'd want and some are just incompatible. There are a number of reasons for that, like lack of specific hardware like GPS and also due to the fact that Play Store recognizes Chrome OS as an Android tablet. These problems should be fixed in the next wave of Chrome OS devices, but on the current devices, these problems should remain. If you have a Chromebook with Android app support, you can check out our article on how to get Play Store from the link in the description below. Another reason to get a Chromebook is the robust security that Chrome OS offers. If you've used a Windows computer, you must be aware of the various problems that arise due to malicious software, viruses and other harmful files. It's also a problem on Mac but not as much as on Windows. On the other hand, Chromebooks are very secure devices. Chrome OS comes with virus protection built in, verified boot and offers multiple layers of security, so you should not face any security hassles. Along with all the aforementioned features, we like the fact that Chromebooks offer great battery life, 
boot up really quickly and work decently even on low end hardware plus most chromebooks are lightweight portable devices to sum things up the chromebooks are definitely not meant for power users and google isn't aiming for them either chromebooks have a perception of being affordable and while that is somewhat true with various decent chromebooks available for as low as 140 dollars it is still not entirely accurate because you can get windows notebooks at the same price and while they might not be able to run heavy duty apps it is the same with chromebooks too the conclusion is if you want a good looking portable laptop you love surfing the web and even your work requires you to use the browser all day without worrying about the battery the chromebook is definitely for you with android apps coming to more chromebooks and rumors suggesting that chrome os will be merged with android and called andromeda os the platform is here to stay and if you want to try something new you should give it a shot and you might even love it provided you keep your expectations in check if you're looking to get a chromebook we'll recommend you to get the asus chromebook flip or the acer chromebook r11 as they are the only ones with android support available right now you can check them out from the links in the description below you can also check out our list of the best chromebooks you can buy from the link in the description below well those were my thoughts on chromebooks and google's chrome os but i'd love to know what you think of chromebooks so let us know in the comment section below also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos that's me signing off thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one